I'm just going to show you guys how to service your Figo. So for those of you who are still new to this, new to the car thing, wanting to try stuff out yourself, um, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys how easy it is to actually save yourself a couple of grand. Um, only thing is you just need a, someone to stamp your book to say that the car has been serviced and just make sure that uh, you obviously install the parts right as I will be showing. So let's go. Okay guys, so everything that you would need to service your car, I'm going to show you now. So you need a spark plug tool. This is, I'm not sure exactly what size, I think it's a 13. Then you need a 10mm socket and as well a T25 hex uh, screw for the air filter. But as you can see, yeah, I don't have the air filter because I have a K&N, so I will link it up top. Um, next thing you need is your oil, replacement oil. I got Shell Helix 10W40, I've got a high mileage engine so 10W40 works fine for me. I actually have a bit thicker oil in now and tends to get a lot warmer so can't wait to see that this makes a difference again. I'll definitely keep you guys updated. Next thing you need is your petrol filter. So just an old generic petrol, petrol filter. Okay, let's just pop that on back in there, you're going to need your Z55 one oil filter. Lastly, you would need your spark plugs, which is a TRB5, TR5B13. So yeah, just make sure you gap these to the correct um, size, which is a one thou, so uh, they don't come, come gap the right size from factory. So just make sure you gap them before you install. You're gonna need a 13 socket with an extension for your drainage bolt uh, for your oil so just remember to get your 13 socket as well okay so the first thing you want to do is you want to grab your 10 mil socket and take out the two bolts that are on top of the air filter box mine is already off i lost them somewhere then you want to take off this pipe disconnect that one down there the over the breather pipe and then pull slightly and pull slightly there we go, and off she goes. I'm just gonna put you, I don't know, uh, just bear with me on this one. More or less like that. Okay, you get your drip tray. Yeah, I'm just gonna loosen the bolts first. Time for a oil change. Very, very dear. Next thing you want to do is loosen your oil filter. I'm going to take you guys off of the GoPro for that. Okay, grab your oil filter. Head over to the underside of the car. So that arrow says that way, so I'm going to twist it this way. There we go. She's loose, just make sure your button is positioned. So you don't spill any oil. So, Gonna pop in your spark plug too and give her a good old twist. Oh, that one is a bit loose, mate. I always like taking out all four and inspecting them just to see what they all look like. Why is it so tight now? This is part of the time guys, I'm not skipping the time for unbolting the spark plugs. Whoa! Damn. Next. And now she goes, number four. So let's just take a side by side comparison of all four. Uh, they've, they've had their miles definitely due to be changed. So uh, let's get the new plugs gapped to this size and then install them. Don't do this at home, this is just my method. Okay, there we go. Number one ready. One piece of advice I'm going to give you quick is rub some oil on the threads so that with the heat and expansion it doesn't seat in the blocks and you struggle and strip tools and get a stuck spark plug. That's yeah, very bad. So let's get some old oil and rub it on the threads 
as you put them in and also just another tip when getting to tightening it you don't want to put all your force because of heat and expansion it's going to expand and contract so just give it a nice hand one hand tighten yeah last one nice and hand tight plug back in your wires in the right place make sure it clips there we go get your air folder box okay so for me this is quite easy because i just pop mine back on if i can find it right there plug it back in your breather and your intake pipe okay and that is your spark plug sorted let's what you want to do with the new oil filter before you put it on is just grab some of this old oil and just put it on this new seal just so it doesn't clamp down and break and leak so just make sure you cover that whole seal in some old oil you can use new oil as well but my new oil isn't open yet so just use some of the, some of the old ones okay now you can install get the new one and put it on grab the new filter right over there and then you're gonna start it up right over there and then you're gonna start screwing it in right, let me just get you guys in now okay you're gonna grab it in oh no just make sure you thread it on right which i'm not doing no that's wrong this is difficult with one hand guys there we go spin her on and give her a nice nice tighten give her a nice nice tighten as tight as you can okay there we go let's move on to the petrol filter uh, got two clips that basically clip onto these edges but sometimes they are a bit of a mission to get off so just watch out for them Get that other cap off so we can install it all right there we go guys be about enough and get the car to get it cranked over to get some oil pressure to that brand new oil filter exactly one hour it took to do the full service uh, obviously I didn't put in the air filter that takes a little bit longer and I had a bit of problems with the fuel filter now yeah so uh, one hour to do your own service on your car for it's way cheaper only buying your parts guys I mean come on why would you not want to do that just make sure you get your car stamped uh, at a dealer uh, or at a friend who has a mechanic shop or automotive shop just to say that your car has been serviced and just remember to write in your case uh, yeah guys that's how you maintain your car and do your own service so hopefully that was an easy enough video um, I'm not gonna end the video here what's up guys so I don't know if the wind noise is pretty bad but I'm over here trying to the car wash you can see the board behind me uh, I'm a bit late so I don't know if I'm gonna get my car washed but we'll see what they can work out for me but yeah, I'm just gonna do a little cinematic clip for you guys of the cars that are here and just as well take a couple of pictures for Instagram. So let's get it.
whole service happening and then going to the car wash so hope you guys enjoyed it i just want to say thank you to all the new subscribers thank you for everyone that's left a like a comment and uh, that's just been supporting the videos um hope you guys have been liking the content that's been coming up um i'm definitely thinking of merging my media page and my youtube page together so let me know what you guys think about that i saw you guys liked a little bit of advice that i gave at the end of the last video so just another piece of advice for today um just after what's happened in my life the last couple of days uh just made me realize again that uh, your mindset that you have towards life and towards the things that happen to you will determine your outcome outcome whatever you're facing right now at this stage of life just try and see it with a bit of positivity um, try not focus on the negative and the bad um, I know that's what we tend to do as humans because of the situation and what happens to us but just try and focus on the end goal making it completing that task or whatever might be the problem just see the end goal in a positive manner and I promise you life will change like you won't believe thank you guys for joining and thank you guys so much for the support peace out